Hey guys, we're back here with m and Trailers, and we're with Bob and Chico, and we're in uh, beautiful Orlando, Florida. We're going to let Bob introduce you another uh, concession truck. Hey folks, glad to see you're back in the movies. As you know, I'm getting thinner if you're watching the movies, but then we'll get, won't talk about me. Let's talk about this fine-looking food truck here that this gentleman right beside me is the proud owner. Uh, his name is Chico, and we just delivered the truck to him a week ago, and we had to come down to Orlando to put a a side tray on the exterior by the concession window and there was some confusion and uh, I know I know this you may not believe this but even we make mistakes once in a while but the bottom line is we come and fix them so we drove this tray down to Orlando to put it on the side of this man's truck so it would be like it's supposed to be and while we're here let's take a short walk through and show you what it is it's a it is a very different I'm gonna let Chico tell you a little bit about his food it's he's got quite a quite a thing going here and uh, and this is him now. You want to tell the folks just what you're making in this truck? Absolutely. It will be some Portuguese food, amazing tacos, and uh, two Portuguese pastries that we're going to be serving. Actually, we serve some of that duck too. Bob, he can tell you about it. I never thought that I would eat a duck, but I eat a duck like no duck I've ever seen. I think, <laughs> I mean, it wasn't Daffy Duck, trust me. It was good duck. It was, uh, he's got a a, a fine, he's a fine chef, and uh, people are going to be in for a treat when they come to this trailer. It's uh, for this truck, it's they're going to be in for a treat. Well, let's look at this uh, truck. Uh, number one, we've got an 8K Generac generator built into the truck, you can see it there. And uh, he's had the truck pretty well detailed up here. There's still more decals to go and more lettering, it's not finished, but we caught him in the at the, at the place where it's being done. So, let's walk around this side, Richard. and. Uh, Right now, you'll see the tank racks back here, but he has the tank wraps off because they're painting or uh, the tank, the tanks. But this is the back door, and to this side where you can see, which we just put on, there's the concession window, and here is the tray system for the window that we just put on. And this is a seven foot, three by seven foot window in this truck, so it's a, you can serve three locations. Okay, let's walk inside. This has got a lot of nice equipment. I don't know if you want to... Okay, here. This is... Okay, this is an 18-foot bed truck. And it gives us a lot of room. As you can see as you come in, the large concession windows on this side. Right beside the concession window is a three-hole steam table because he has a lot of food and he'll stay warm prepped and these do a great job. Uh, just to give him some additional cutting area, we have the three-bay sink here, but we put a Corian top on it so this can be used for cutting and then there's your sink where you put this on, you can wash your food, do your cutting and have it right over your sink drains. The upper is cabinetry, as you can see. Um, uh, folks, on this side of the truck, we have the overhead hood, which is a BLL system, which is a high, high hood. He has a little serving hanging rack here. He has a magnetic rack on the wall with, with holders. And on top of this table, we have the 18-inch uh, charbroiler, a regular charbroil top with the, with the steel grates and the, and the gas. Next to it, he's got a 36-inch flat griddle. Next to that, he's got a 40-pound two-basket fryer. We put the shield between the fryer and this range so that the burners doesn't cause any fire with the grease popping. This is an imperial oven with a four-burner gas top, gas oven, commercial. We've been able to work out a 24-inch table here to get put the food on. We're moving to a large slide door refrigeration system on this side. On this side, this is a regular sandwich prep refrigerated unit with the refrigeration all down below with all the vegetables cut up here and the makeup counter here, which gives him two refrigeration systems and a makeup table, his window, his serving stainless steel tray. And the Ansel system is in this unit. It's on this side with a control and the emergency pull is at the rear door as you go out. Uh, the, this trailer here, if you'll notice, happens to be, this is a new product that uh, has just come into the market. And it's, a, it's an all, it's a fiberglass quarter inch structural sheet with aluminum 
glued, epoxied to one side of the sheet. And that is what you see here in mill siding. So it becomes structural, but yet it's an aluminum finished truck to be just wipe off and easy clean. And what it does, it goes on, it doesn't have any wrinkles because it's structural, it'll lay on there dead straight. And the board is finished on one side with the mill finish, as you see the walls, and then our ceiling is the opposite side of this board is finished in what we call just a, this is a brush, this is the finished mill. So it kind of makes the smooth top ceiling and gives it a little texture on the walls. And then we can do it in all smooth, all texture, whatever combination you're looking for. Uh, this truck is equipped with the standard fluorescent light system, the air conditioning, and uh, there's a lot of room and a lot of equipment here. You know, a lot of capabilities to do any kind of food you want. And like I keep saying in every movie, everybody has a different product and has a different food that they want to make and need a different piece of equipment for it. So it's a matter of floor planning your truck out, setting it up for what you're looking for, and we'd be sure glad to help you do that. Uh, if you want to take a quick zoom around here, Richard and I, I would say we pretty well covered the truck and uh, we're looking for his first event is tomorrow so we're going to get out of here and let him get his truck ready to go so he can go start making a little money and pay for this damn thing. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye bye. Uh, folks, just before I let you go, Richard asked me to show you the generator which we built a cage for. We just asked Chico to unlock his lock off from it which uh, we can get in it and this way your gate opens all the way up for you and then your generator basically you just hit the hinges which are here slides and your generator comes right out to you and I don't know if he's got it locked which he does and it's got keys on each side for locking the box top and then you've got your start up here and your main breaker here so you can service your generator get to it it's wide open and then when you're ready to put it away you just slide the generator back on the slides run this locks in shut your door Put your lock on, and you're back in business. So it's not a, it's a, it's a nice setup. It makes it clean, makes you able to get, get to it. It's not up inside the truck. There's plenty of room around it for air movement, and it's an inside of an aluminum insulated box. And uh, if you do not need your generator, right here is your plug-in. We supply a 30-foot power cord. Plug in here. Take it to a given source of power wherever you're at, and you don't need a generator. But if you go to an event with no power, this AK will run a complete home. So you got all, he's got all, he'll sit here and just idle and run everything he's got with no problem. And uh, this is a pretty nice truck. This was, this was no, uh, well, they're all nice trucks, but uh, it's fun to build one that's going to be making such a quality product. We can't wait to see the uh, write-ups coming on the email on our internet over this truck. So keep an eye if you're in Orlando out for this truck and you'll never eat a better dish. All right, folks, see you later.